In this video, I want to show you how to create a Firebase project and get it all set up to integrate with a Thunkable project. So to get started, I'm gonna to go to, it's called console.firebase.google.com. Another way to get here is just type in Firebase. Firebase. And go to Firebase. You'll need to make sure you're signed into a Google account. And then up here in the top right, you can go to you know, the console. And then from here, you can add a project. Give your project a name. We'll say test project and continue. You likely won't need Google Analytics, but you can leave it on if you so please. And then now it's going to go through the process of creating your project. Awesome. Now we're good to go. So I'm going to continue. So now I have a Firebase project set up. This is kind of like the home screen. And to get this set up for a Thunkable project, um, you would need to do two things. So the first is to come to authentication. And really in Thunkable, we use uh, Firebase to allow people to sign in. And then in some projects, we use it to store data. So I'm gonna set up the, the authentication, the sign-in piece here. And basically what we're doing is just turning it on so that we can use it. So we come to sign-in methods, and right now no sign-in methods are allowed, but I can come to email password, click edit, and then enable and save. And so now this Firebase project supports sign in. And once people start signing in, you'll see them here in the users uh, tab right here. The other place is where we store data and that is in the real time database. We do not use cloud Firestore, which Firebase will try to point you towards. Make sure you do a real time database and I can do create database. We'll start in test mode. And that will go ahead and set that up. So what we what you will need in Thunkable and what you can hand off to your developer is this link right here. This is called your database uh, database link. If you for some reason are only using authentication and you're not using the real time database, um, another way to get this is to go back to your project overview, come to the web right here. Add in a nickname, register app. And then it's going to set up this uh, right here. And so here is your API key and the database URL, which we were just looking at. If you already have this set up and you're returning to your app, then you can go to project settings. And then down here at the bottom, now that you have that set up, you have the database URL down there at the bottom. So that is how you get the database URL, a few different ways to get that. The other thing that you'll need is the API key. So that's down here again in project settings, scroll down API key. It's also up here at the top in um, the project settings. So that is how you create a new Firebase project, get it set up to integrate with Thunkable and grab the IDs that you'll need to add your Thunkable project or share with your developer.